guys it's hatch green chili season so i'm going to show you how to put those hatch green chilies with some awesome fresh corn and we're going to make ourselves a hatch chili cream corn coming up What's up everybody welcome to cooking with cj i'm cj welcome to my backyard so glad you're here really appreciate you taking your time out of your day out of your schedule to watch little old me and we're gonna be working on the pit boss griddle today like i said in the beginning we're gonna make some hatch chili cream corn and it's just gonna be amazing all right it's gonna take no time at all this is not gonna be a long video so you better stick around to the end and while i'm barking out orders hit that subscribe button guys we're on that road to 100,000 subscribers need that play button that that google sends you so let's make it happen all right red subscribe button bell next to it all that good stuff so what i've already done is shaved off some corn from uh four ears of corn on the cob got it all in a bowl took a couple of the bigger hatch green chilies that i have cut off the stems cut it in half pulled out all those seeds a little bit of the ribs inside there and we just did a nice dice on there nothing like maybe about half an inch quarter of an inch nothing too complicated right we're gonna get those sauteing in a little bit of butter once we get the corn and the hatch chilies kind of combined and sauteed through then we're gonna add four ounces of cream cheese and a half a cup of milk to it and just bring it all up together a little cajun seasoning call it a day okay so i will have a link to this recipe and the prep and all that to the website down below it show more underneath the video so you can check it out all right other than that nothing left to do but get to it right so let's get over on this pit boss get it fired up and start making magic all right come on back we have Two of the burners on, two of the burners off. Have it on low temp. This pit boss tends to run a little high, okay? So low temp, just gonna get them nice and sauteed through. So we use a little butter, piece of cake, All right? Come on down here. Okay, team, like I said, we just have the two burners on the right side going. So we'll get some uh, butter going down. This is about two ounces of butter, give or take. Got my pit boss utensils here. Hook it up, link down below. Got our beautiful shucked corn. Sliced off the cob. Then we got those hatch green chilies going in. Let's get those spread out. Gonna break down that corn. And when you shave it off the cob, kind of uh, comes down in one piece. It's gonna take about five, 10 minutes to get everything sauteed through where we want it to be. Make sure you uh, get all those stragglers trying to get away. Spread this out. And just let it get some heat. While we got these sauteing, I'm gonna add a little of this Cajun barbecue rub from Pit Boss. Just gonna add a little bit in there. We'll add a bit more when we add our uh, cheese and cream in there. But this is just gonna, you know, just an extra uh, layer of flavor going down. Pit Boss has a great Southwest barbecue rub too that you could also add. But I was feeling that Cajun rub today, so that's what we rolled with. All right, team, time to add our cream cheese to the mix. And then we're gonna pour over our cream. Add a little bit more of that barbecue rub. Let's get it mixed up. Get that cream cheese melting. Mix through. Oh, it's getting away from me. You will have to spend a little bit of time cleaning your uh, griddle after this one. But the best part of this ultimate griddle is it's non-stick and easy to clean. You know what I'm saying? We're letting all that cream cheese melt. The cream, everything working together, melted up together. We'll have this beautiful, fresh, vibrant chili. <laughs> chili fried cream corn and the flavors the smells oh goodness goodness me let's go it's keeping it working ready for the heat to be turned off about ready to get in the bowl come on back 
All right, let's get it in this bowl. Make a mess while you're doing it. It's okay. I come back for the taste test when I get this all cleaned up. Team, we're done. Like I said, it wasn't that long of a cook because basically all you're doing is sauteing a couple of vegetables, adding some cream, cheese, butter, you know, to the seasoning. All right, y'all, let's take a bite. Make sure we get enough chilies in there. No, it's gonna be a little spicy, but that's okay. So cheers, y'all. <laughs> oh, that's damn good. Not that I'm surprised at all, but you know, guys, there is plenty of heat with these hatched chilies. So let's remember that. And there's a little bit of heat in that barbecue rub. So if you like a little spice, which I do, this ain't gonna burn you, but you can definitely tell there's some spices working. This is a perfect dish for you guys. Team, I use fresh ingredients for this one. I use fresh corn on the cob, fresh hatched chilies, but seasons change, right? So if you're not able to get fresh, uh, canned chilies and canned corn would work just fine. If you're using either, make sure you just drain off all the water that comes in that can and you'll be fine. You'll be good to go. You'll hardly know the difference. So guys, if you happen to want to get yourself one of these Pit Boss Ultimate Griddles, I'll have a link down below to Pit Boss. You can check it out if you want. If you like any of my knives, cutting boards, merch, all that good stuff, it's all down below. Make sure you hit those links. If you want to become a show producer, like all these awesome people scrolling across my screen, people that just look forward to hatch chili season, <laughs> hit that join button right next to that subscribe button, which you should have already hit by now. But other than that, guys, we are done. I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful week. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for cooking with CJ. Take care.